Welcome back to this, whatever the fuck this is supposed to be. Um, that last puzzle was kind of bullshit, but that's fine, honestly. Um, what was the one with the wolves? It was tea time, right? Because it was like 3 o'clock. For me, tea time is... Actually, no, for me, tea time is 3 o'clock. Um, but it's more like 3 in the morning. Because that's when I wake up to go to work, and I put on a pot of tea, and then I fucking down the entire thing in as short a time as possible to rile myself up with caffeine so I can actually get something done in my life. Back, are ya? Did you talk to the Sphinx? Fool. Clearly she didn't. Nobody messes with the Sphinx and comes back in one piece. I don't remember what voices I was doing with these wolves, but that doesn't matter. Yeah, we ate her kid, and look at us now, sitting pretty in one piece. This is One Piece? I love that manga. She gave me a scroll to remove your curse. She did what? Hey, you did good, kid. I always believed in her. Now set us free. <clears throat> all right, all right, we'll let the grub go. But only after you set us free. Mm, sure, they seem trustworthy. All right. Now instead of dealing with one really awkward wolf, I'll have to deal with four fully functioning more uh, wol wolves. War is what I I was I read it so I said it. War, famine, pestilence, and death. The four horsemen. The four wolfmen. They're not men though. They're just wolves. Yeah. Why uh, why did I code them all as male if they're just wolves? Some of them could have had feminine voices. I don't know. The gender binary has. Brainwashed me to uh, this font is really hard to read the four horsemen shall pull ye apart and set ye free unto the fate ye deserve That sounds like a bad thing. Do you, are you saying I deserve to be torn apart? What the hell is going on now? Oh, it was it was separating them The wolves must know better say goodbye to the seasons So are they the four horsemen or are they the four seasons? Well, you know what? She didn't lie. She did separate them. That's exactly what she said she was going to do. Now's our chance. Hurry and let me loose. I re I I don't care for this worm thing. Sucker, what? I'm literally trying to help you. Fuck off. God, you did this. I'll get her if it's the last thing I do. Man. Hey, I didn't fucking do this, man. It's not my fault. But yeah, you're right. You should have stayed together. I mean, what the fuck, right? You guys are friends. You don't realize what you're missing until you until it's gone. I um when I was little, I had a Furby and it was like really annoying and it would always talk when I was trying to sleep. You have to leave now before she can which which one's which she cat or I don't know. Um are you okay? Yeah, gonna say no. Oh, oh, it's empty. Okay. So I'm sure I'll see her as a butterfly at some point. Really not sure that I want to. But yeah, so I had a really annoying Furby that would talk when I slept. So I, like, dismantled it. I fucking, like, I made it so it would never work again. And then I was like... You never know what you have until it's gone. And I like I got so sad about it. I was like, he's dead. But really it was it was pretty annoying. Do they see cat? They say they miss you. Who? Is this the fucking butterfly form of the Maybe I am cat from an alternate dimension. No, no, no. You don't look like cat at all. Cat. Why did you leave? They wanted to hold you. They loved you very much. They loved you very much. That's pretty creepy. Cat, where are you? Oh, different voice, whatever. Can I go back in the house now? I feel much safer in the house, all things considered. Um, despite the, uh, the death. Um, even if you look a little different, I hope that I don't look so different to you. Not sure what you mean by that, but, uh, yeah, no judgments here. Make sure you take good care of it. It's a very important scarf. What the- It's my fucking scarf! By the way, what's your name? What do you mean, take care of it? It's my scarf! Give it back! 
What's your name? My name? Yeah, hey, I don't know. I honestly have no idea. What, what if that's what she said? She's, I honestly, no idea. Cat, okay, it is Cat. So they're both just named Cat, or they're actually the same person? Okay, looks like they're actually the same person, considering she just faded into me. Is that what that's implying? At least in some kind of metaphorical sense. It's good to know Cat developed a better fashion sense later in life. I need to get that scarf back. Yeah, so I guess it was Cat's scarf, or I mean, if I am Cat, then it was, then it was always my scarf. Maybe that's how she got it in the first place, right? Maybe it was a time loop where your older self gave it to her, and if you don't leave it here, you'll fuck up the entire time continuum, like uh, like Jack and Daxter or um, Homestuck. I don't know. I, I like stuff like that, where, like, through time travel, something creates itself. I know that's a really weird concept that people can't really wrap their heads around, because it realistically doesn't make sense, but, like, you know, in the sense of time travel, it does. I think it's, I think it's super cool. I love shit like that. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but <clears throat> I think I'm dehydrated right now, actually. Okay, who's this? This is a uh, friend. They're very excited to see me. I, she's so, like, I think that means she is Cat, right? Because she's so, like, she recognizes all these guys. Even if she doesn't act like she does, she, you know, my scarf. She, um, he doesn't have your scarf. You're giving it to me? Oh, he d that does he? Okay. There, problem solved. Now I can fucking leave. Thank you. That was much simpler than I thought it would be. It's a magical scarf. Okay, can I just leave? What was that? <laughs> I like to think his exclamation points are just like, ah! If you wear it, you'll always be warm and safe. Yeah, that's not magic. That's just a scarf. Was that you? Ah! Just like when you're with your dear old Benjamin. I don't know anybody named Benjamin. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Please, please remember. Oh, remember that I'm Cat. Yeah, so like, she subconsciously recognizes these guys. Crystal, why, why would I open the fucking coffin? I'm gonna get eaten by a zombie. Kendall, they all start with a K sound, yeah? Nope. I, nope, I was wrong. Penny, Sydney, Australia, Logan. These are all really normal names. Wh which one am I supposed to open? I mean, I guess I could open all of them, but... Oh, hey. It's a wolf. No, it's just a regular wolf. I'm gonna go ahead and save before I open any of those fucking coffins. I mean, jeez. Whoa, did it just, like, stutter? <clears throat> I don't know. It's better than the capture card. I'd rather... I'd rather the PC game stutter a little bit than all the bullshit that goes on with the capture card. Um, yeah, I like, my capture card is completely screwed up. The one that I have to record console games. Popcorn, get your popcorn here. Popcorn for only three pennies. That's a steal, man. I don't, I, I don't have any money. Um, no, I literally don't even have three pennies. It's ain't a handout, man. It basically is. Oh, hey, here's all my favorite characters now showing Stray Cat Crossing. But yeah, so my capture card was completely fucked up, and um, I don't know what the hell's wrong with it, but the Elgato customer support is actually really good. And I sent it back, and I'm gonna get a new one, so hopefully I can record console games again soon. Um, I don't want to watch Benjamin. I uh, did. Did he have that accent? I don't know. She's so nice, but she looks so sad. Oi! I'm the door mouse. Half door, half mouse. Ain't no bloke getting past me without with without it. I I can't really. I don't know. I I I think I think I can pull off that accent kind of well. You ain't got no ticket. I don't know. Um. Well, I don't even have three pennies. How the fuck am I gonna buy a ticket? I'm bored. This play is stupid. You're not even watching the play yet. Benjamin's children put on the strongest plays. Strangest, not strongest. Though, <laughs> yeah, I would, I would like it for it to be the strongest play. Um, t what tickets are all sold out? What, then what, what do I do? Alright, same fucking mouse. I ain't got no ticket. I ain't got nothing. What, what, alright. Fucking, can I steal somebody's ticket? Save point, guys. Sell me your ticket. If you don't want... Nobody wants to be here. Just give me a ticket. Give me one of yours. Maybe... 
Maybe one of these fucking coffins has a key, and not a key, a ticket, whatever. Like, t oh, that one was in red. There's a rose inside. Sure, whatever. Adventure game logic of take fucking everything that you see. At least this one's not nearly as bad as some point-and-click games where you literally just take, like, pennies and fucking garbage off the ground. Though pennies would actually be useful in this case. Crystal Swan... I don't know if I'm supposed to open them in order or if it's just certain ones that open. Oh, hey. I got a penny. Right, from from Penny. The, the person's name was Penny. Alright, I only got one penny, though. That's not enough. I don't know. If, I don't. I don't think they open in a certain order. Nah, whatever. So I have a, a swan. Uh, fuck. A swan, a rose, and a penny. Is that like I'm supposed to represent something? Maybe. I don't know. I'll just try giving shit to different people. I don't have to use items, do I? I think they use automatically, right? I've been playing too many different weird RPG Maker games, right? I always get their mechanics confused. Yeah, sure, have it. Someone ruined my last one. Thanks for the favor. Here, take this. Got a key. A key? What? The, a key to what? what? Check it. Ch check it. It's a key for the ticket booth. Alright. That's kind of weird. Um, who gets the other thing? Get stuff. Oh, the oh, he's gonna he's gonna give the rose to the Sphinx. That's really nice. Will the rose make her happy? Thank you. Here, take this. Got a ticket. What? No, I want my popcorn. I want my popcorn. <laughs> the key to the ticket booth. What the? It's from this side or? Yeah. What the hell? The lock opened, but the key broke. Video game logic. <laughs> Giant swan culture card from ice. Huh. Well, if none are missing, then where did I get mine? A grandfather clock, but it isn't moving. Seems to be a gear missing. I don't have any gears. Hey, helpful friend. Ah, give me a gear. The clock doesn't work anymore. Ah, it's been frozen for 15 years. Ah, cat, do you remember yet? Ah, no. Ah, here, let's try that again. Or let's let's try again. I don't I don't know what I'm saying. The at wait what? I'm back here. I don't want to be back here. <laughs> I don't want to redo. Oh wait, maybe now I can get three pennies, right? If I reset this three times, I can open this fucking coffin three times and get three pennies. Popcorn is what's important to me here. All right, so two pennies. I guess I'll just check all the rest of these. I don't fucking. I don't think I have to get the same ones again. I think it's probably different ones. But, what the fuck do I know? Got a crystal, it's a swan. Now I have another one. <laughs> I'm just gonna fucking use the time loop thing to stock up on items. Oh my god, this is really annoying. I mean, okay, I can get another rose. Did I do something wrong? Is that what it's saying? I mean, I want to reset at least one more time anyway to get the last penny. So I can get that fucking popcorn. Unless I'm supposed to just go into the show. You know, uh, that also makes me remember, are there multiple endings to this? Because I feel like, no, I, I only have two pennies. Come on, you're not gonna give me a one penny discount? God, what a, what a, what a reasonable business practice to not give people unwarranted discounts. Who knows what the economy is in this universe? Three pennies could be a lot. I don't think he likes me. Is that? A swan? No, you, I already gave you a swan. I already have a ticket. Fuck the swans. Um, I have a ticket. I mean, I, I guess I can go into the show and see what happens. Worst case scenario, it resets again. Where have you been? Uh, are you not the same guy as... Sorry? You actors have some nerve. Don't you know that everyone's been looking for you? N-n-n-no. What are you doing just standing there? You're on in five minutes! To the stage! Chop chop! Um... Well... I guess I can't turn back now. Though it's not like I would have had an opportunity to eat my popcorn on stage, so that's fine. This story takes place long ago. Twenty years, to be exact. It is a tale of rue and woe. And this is the first act. Is it not? Is it not already almost over? Go on stage! Uh... 
You didn't even give me a costume or anything, no? You just throw me out there in my normal clothes. This is Cat. She is five years old. Am I? Am I one of those people who just, like, has a really fast aging body? Um. Hey, what's going on? You, you're different from the Sphinx. Yeah, you have kind of a different face. I am your mother. Time for bed, Cat. Cat, would you like to hear a bedtime story? Uh, no. <laughs> She's really bad at this. I, I, yes, sure. I would like to hear one. Now she's enthused all of a sudden. How about... A story about her mother's sheep and her son. Sh sure. As good as anything else in this universe. Once upon a time, there was a mother sheep and her ram son. This was mommy's favorite story. But one day, a pack of wolves came and ate her son. Mother sheep was very sad, but also relieved because she hated that stupid kid. The end. Well, all right, that's the end of everything, so I'll see you next time. We'll continue this. Oh, intermission, perfect, right, okay, see you tomorrow. Or, or the, the day after tomorrow if I do alternating videos. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Bye.